10 ways to prevent a heart attack. From unhealthy diet to cigarettes, from inactivity to excessive stress, from disturbed sleep to excess weight. In our daily life, these wrong habits and some similar wrong habits increase the risk of heart attacks, which are among the main causes of death. However, it is possible to prevent a heart attack to a great extent. Cardiologist assistant, Dr. Mutlu Gungor stated that it is in our hands to protect the heart and prevent heart attacks with some simple but effective lifestyle changes and provided information on 10 measures that can be taken. 1. Be your ideal weight. Cardiovascular weight gain is a factor that paves the way for heart disease and heart attacks. In our society, unfortunately, the number of people who have problems with excess weight is increasing day by day due to situations such as unbalanced nutrition, sedentary and stressful life. A BMI greater than 30 is defined as obesity, and a BMI greater than 40 is defined as morbid, fatal, obesity. 2. The basis of the fight against obesity is regular exercise and a balanced diet. We should make walking regularly and eating less a habit. Dietitian recommendation can be taken initially for eating habits. Despite this, there are also medical treatments that are recently used for patients who cannot lose weight but they are very successful in the short term. Therefore, the recommendations of the doctor can also be taken. 3. In patients who are still unable to lose weight despite exercise, diet and medical treatment, bariatric surgery should be considered if the doctor considers it necessary. But surgical treatment should not be seen as a solution. It should not be forgotten that patients who cannot change their eating habits gain weight again after surgery. 4. Check your waistline. For the prevention of a heart attack, the circumference of the abdomen is no less important than the body mass index, which shows the ideal weight of our body. The circumference of the abdomen is parallel to the visceral lubrication. The type of lubrication varies by gender. 5. Men usually gain weight around the navel, known as the apple type, and women gain weight around the hips, known as the pear type. The ideal waist circumference is less than 102 cm for men and 90 cm for women, exceeding this limit increases the risk. Try to get below these levels by regularly measuring the circumference of your abdomen. 6. Eat the Mediterranean the way. The Mediterranean diet is one of the main keys to the prevention of cardiovascular disease. Instead of following a diet based on meat, fats and fried foods, switch to a Mediterranean diet that includes vegetables, fruits, fish, legumes, and vegetables prepared with olive oil. 7. Olive oil reduces atherosclerosis with its antioxidant effect, and has a cholesterol-lowering effect because it is an unsaturated fat but excessive consumption should be avoided. In nutrition, foods with high nutritional value, fiber structure, omega-3 content, and low-carb foods should be preferred. 8. Keep your blood pressure under control. Intravenous pressure is known as blood pressure. The higher the blood pressure, the greater the trauma to the inner surface of the blood vessels. Therefore, blood pressure, that is, blood pressure, should remain within normal limits. The definition of high blood pressure refers to values greater than 138 of a millimeter of mercury. The point that should not be forgotten here is that the diastolic and diastolic blood pressure should be within normal limits. 9. Even a high value is sufficient to define high blood pressure. Although it varies from person to person, medical treatment with values greater than 135 of a millimeter of mercury is usually required. Lifestyle changes are also effective in controlling blood pressure. 10. A salt-free diet, regular exercise, and weight control can be just as effective as medical treatment in controlling blood pressure, especially in young patients. Since hypertension does not usually cause clinical complaints, blood pressure should be measured once a month, even if there are no complaints, and in cases greater than 138 of a millimeter of mercury, a doctor should be examined. 11. Get support if needed to quit smoking. Many scientific studies show that smoking is one of the biggest enemies of the heart. Smoking damages the inner surface of the vessels, the endothelium, and also reduces the fluidity of the blood, that is, increases blood clotting. In the weak endothelium, the risk of vessel occlusion is much greater with increased coagulation. 12. Smoking also contributes to damage to the lining of blood vessels by raising blood pressure and causing blood vessels to constrict. Atherosclerosis is more common in smokers, and hardening of the arteries in the leg is almost exclusively in smokers. 
In addition, we must not forget about the place of smoking in the pathophysiology of cancer. Unfortunately, smoking is among the causes of all types of cancer in the body. 13. Find out if you have diabetes. Diabetes is one of the most common causes of cardiovascular disease. Excess sugar in the blood builds up on the inner surface of the arteries and causes atherosclerosis. Due to adverse conditions such as unbalanced diet, obesity, sedentary and stressful life, the incidence of diabetes is increasing day by day and unfortunately it appears at early ages. 14. Unfortunately, many people in our country live their lives at great risk without realizing that they have diabetes. Because diabetes, like hypertension, has a malignant cause, and there may be no complaints in the early stages of the disease. This causes a delay in diagnosis. Therefore, the doctor should be monitored at certain intervals, and the diagnosis and treatment of the disease should be provided without causing damage to the end organs. The most effective way to prevent diabetes is to follow a balanced diet and exercise habits. 15. Check your cholesterol regularly. Cholesterol is a substance that can be produced in the body or taken in from the outside with food and is necessary for the body. For example, cholesterol is used in the synthesis of many hormones. However, excess cholesterol is the main cause that initiates the formation of atherosclerosis by accumulating on the vessel wall. Therefore, the phrase, less decision, more damage, is an apt definition of cholesterol. 16. As is known, there are two types of cholesterol. Low-density lipoprotein cholesterol known as the bad cholesterol, and high-density lipoprotein cholesterol known as the good. Bad cholesterol is what causes atherosclerosis. Its normal value is less than 130 mg per deciliter. The need for cholesterol drug therapy varies depending on the risk factors for cardiovascular disease and the level of cholesterol in the blood. So cholesterol treatments are individual treatments. Depending on the patient's vascular structure or risk factors, aggressive drug therapy may be given or drug-free follow-up may be performed. 17. Avoid fast food and alcohol. Avoiding fast food products and packaged, ready-to-eat foods provides important support in preventing heart attacks. Excessive consumption of these products which are high in animal fats and calories, with additives and high salt content to prolong the shelf life, makes it inevitable to increase diseases such as obesity, hypertension, cholesterol and diabetes. 18. Fast food style diet, it causes many diseases such as digestive diseases, cancer as well as cardiovascular health. Also use alcohol, because it contains sugar, it causes obesity and diabetes. Alcohol can also increase the fluid load in the body, which can worsen heart failure and heart palpitations. 19. Exercise regularly. Make it a habit to exercise for 45 to 60 minutes a day. For exercise, it helps prevent cardiovascular disease by contributing to blood pressure control, lowering sugar and cholesterol levels, and reaching an ideal weight. Aerobic exercises such as brisk walking, slow jogging, cycling or swimming should be preferred every day. 20. During the exercise the heart rate should rise, light sweating should be ensured, and it should not be in the form of a shopping trip. The fact that we can comfortably talk to the person we are walking with while walking means that our pace is insufficient. In terms of preventive medicine, walking for an hour a day can be more beneficial than the prescription your doctor will give you. 21. Do not avoid going to the doctor. Heart attack Most patients who have had a crisis did not identify a major complaint prior to the crisis. In addition, chronic diseases may not show clinical signs before end-organ damage occurs. Therefore, annual controls are very necessary, especially for people in the risk group. These controls are more important in menopausal men over the age of 40, smokers and diabetics.